see right here we have a voltmeter or an amp meter and a voltmeter and they're tied through the load so we'll take our reading. Uh, we have a fan set up here for the windmill and it is blowing at 10 miles per hour. As we combine the advanced class and the beginner class, the beginner class has they've been testing different uh, windmill blades, number of blades, the angle of the blades. This PLR has been programmed, when I press the green button, it closes a contact which allows power from the windmill generator to come to this motor, and then this motor will lift this ping pong ball. Now we know the weight of the ball, and we know the distance that the ball is going to travel is 100 centimeters. We have two photo eyes. The bottom one starts the timer, and the top one stops the timer. These three lights indicate the voltage that was achieved under load. It's produced by the windmill. It's indicated by this set of lights. So as you can see, we reached over one and a half volts. And from all that data, the ball's weight, the distance that it traveled, and the time that it took, we can t calculate the energy that was exerted in that time. It's getting a full volt. Really? It's getting a bolt out of that. Okay, what we have here is a single blade at 10 degrees, and we're pushing one bolt. Oh, it's going reverse. Let's do this. Holy crap. I think I know very quick. Jumping between 1.2 and 1.3. So still mine's got the best. 1.4. Oh, wow. Oh, damn. <laughs> oh, you gotta get up to here. Come on. Well, it seemed to get a lot more voltage when it did it that way with the what? long side. So now turn turn yourself towards the wind more. And immediately went back up again, didn't it? One point, yeah, back up to 1.2. So, like, if the wind's too strong this way, they'll turn so that way they can still get some wind power, but enough just to. Keep, keep it at a constant yeah. speed, yep. So they can tilt their blade angle as well as the whole thing. That's cool. George, tell me about your blade design. Uh, these blades, uh, I figured there'd be less resistance going through here, so it'd like go through the holes and then it... Now is this something you saw on the internet or your own theory? Uh, just my own theory. I just figured I'd try it. Okay, this is Chris's design. He just took a picture of a turbine off the internet and decided to create the same blade type and he's adjusting them for 10 degrees. Like 3.45 yeah. seconds. Yeah. Yeah. It's like 4.5 volts I think it is. Oh yeah. yeah. yeah 4. I, I saw 4.6 earlier. What's the amps when it's going on? And that's with a low. Oh no, it's really fast. Yeah. Yeah, yeah what go. is the amperage? Uh, 20, 20, 29. Yeah, 29 milliamps. Yeah. What's the time? 1.62. 1. 1. Is that your best so far? Oh, yeah. no, 1.29 was our best. 1.29? Yeah. Why does it work so well? The blades are at an angle, it looks like. Starts, and then it goes about 10, and then 20, and it curves, and it picks up the wind in this curve like this, and all the wind gets thrown out to the sides, so it spins really fast. Would, it, would it have anything to do with it, like the blades being in front of each other, kind of, yeah. like that? Yes, yeah. 5.8. That is wrong. Okay, Chris. 